and welcome to tonight's Skylark soundbite. Now, if you follow our soundbites on a daily basis, you would probably have noticed that whenever I do a soundbite, I'm tucked away in my bedroom. Today, it is all different. And firstly, before anything else, silence. No kids, all at school. So I don't need to be in my bedroom. So I'm in my kitchen thinking of what to say. And um, there was something that I wanted to share that has really helped me over the last few weeks or so and it's this so when lockdown took place uh, a friend of mine and myself we went halves on something called masterclass and it's this online teaching tool and so you can learn from chefs or you can learn from sports people business people there's a whole range of topics that are covered by people that are at the top of their trade so you can watch Gordon Ramsay for example and um, I've enjoyed doing some of those I've enjoyed listening to a CIA, CIA chief negotiator and um, talking about how he would deal with hostage situations and all that sort of stuff. And, um, you know, skills that have come in very handy when dealing with free kids in lockdown. But um, there was one in particular that I watched that um, actually really spoke to me. And it was um, the part where there was a group of actors and Samuel L. Jackson takes this um, masterclass. Now, I am certainly no actor and I have no desire to be um, an actor, but it was interesting to watch how actors learn and how they learn their script and all that sort of stuff. But there was this one part where he talks about, he was delivering a movie scene and he said he got into the zone and he was all good to go. And by his accounts, he said he delivered the best scene that he has ever delivered. And at the end of it, um, his co-stars, his producers, Everyone came up to him and told him how great he was. And do you know what? That was just the best scene we've ever seen. And, you know, he took the plaudits and was obviously very happy with that. But when the movie got released, he realised that the scene where he was told how brilliant he was, was scrapped. It wasn't in the movie. So all of this um, congratulations and you're amazing actually didn't make the movie. And he talks about how... Um, it just changed how he then moved into his next movie, how he would always try and be in the zone, but not live for the um, plaudits or for the approval of man. And I wonder how many times I have lived for the approval of man, whether that's, um, you know, someone bigging you up and all of these things are good. It is great to be encouraged. But if you're living for the approval of humans and other people, maybe it causes us to go off track and forget about what God the Father thinks of us. And I love that with God, there is no need to prove ourselves as such. There's no need to be the best at something, but actually as we are, is enough for God. I love that. I love that there is always an invitation. There is no need to come to God with your done list to ask for a hug or to come into his presence. That extension um, of welcoming is open to all of us. So I pray this week ahead that we don't try and strive to be the best so that we get praise from somebody, but that actually we're cool with who we are and that we come before God knowing that we are more than enough. Have a blessed week, my friends. God bless. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this silence and hopefully see you soon. Take care.